So a two-score deficit. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Dancing to his left. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven. Past the 30 to the 32. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him. Put together a solid game to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. And that is incomplete, nearly intercepted. The free safety couldn't quite get his hands around it, and it brings up third down. Looking to throw. Holt flush to his right. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give him credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. Now a play fake here on first down. Steps away to his left. He's got a man complete. A big play there for New England, 44 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. Off play action, Holt. Oh, Cooper with a nice grab. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, that he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Ezekiel Elliott, his 16th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Patriots are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. New England trying to get to place on offense. Now, this game went off the rails early for them and never really got back on track. And these fans, they were expecting to be on the other side of the scoreboard. But that is not the case as we play on here this fourth quarter. On first and ten, Holt buying time to his left. Looking deep in the direction of Cooper. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. Back to throw. Holt forced out to his left. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Nowhere to go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. Looking to throw. Holt. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Second and ten. Back to throw. Holt flushed out right. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. Throwing on first down. Holt. And here is a leaping catch. He pulled it in. And the offense moving quickly to the line. On first down, Holt. Now a battle for the football. It's caught. It's a touchdown. A great play there with an acrobatic catch. And the Patriots have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively.
defensively, I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good seed. And now out come the Patriots. Well, still a long way to go, but trending upward. To throw from his end zone. Hold. Open man completes it to Smith Schuster. And they'll get him down up past the 15. On first and 10. Hold. And that one a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception, but playing this way is what got him this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. They'll roll him out right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. That is caught. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. The Charles are trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they can afford to go without. About the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. Back to throw again. He'll buy some time right. That is incomplete. Well, here's a classic second guest. I thought he had a better chance of a positive play if he just ran it himself. The coverage downfield was really good. That one falls incomplete. Now a second and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw, escaping the pressure right. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem scrambling for 22 and a first. It hasn't been the cleanest game for him, but there was a sign of improvement as he looks towards the next one. Nice bit of scrambling to move the sticks, and even more importantly, he didn't risk adding another interception to his ledger. Being chased out left. Got a man, it's Johnson, end zone. Touchdown, New England. 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Patriots have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well, he scrambled outside of the pocket and wondered what was going to happen there. He fired a dart. That's what happened. He certainly did. Scrambled left, looked left, and then left it in the receiver's hands with some dispatch. In the receiver's hands, in the end zone for the score. So the Patriots now down by five, a minute 13 to play. He's back to throw. He's got Smith-Schuster, and he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and 10 now. He'll look to throw, sliding out of the pocket. He's going to let it fly. And that's going to be incomplete. Uh, they took a big shot there for the end zone, and if he finds a way to come up with it, that might be your game winner. But it was not to be. The coverage was good, and it winds up incomplete. A little more than 40 seconds to play. Now second and 10. Back to throw. His throw incomplete. 
back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. Here's first and ten. They'll look to throw on the move to his left. Oh, able to avoid him. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. That one checks all the boxes, doesn't it? You get the first down, check. Get out of bounds, stop the clock, check. Go how about one last check? Keep your quarterback from getting hit. That's a big check. Yeah, check there as well. Good call. Rolling to his right. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. It's been a nice day for him as a passer and as a runner. One of the few mistakes he's made in this ball game. The wrong choice on that one. That one goes incomplete. Here's second down. Back to throw. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. To throw on third down. Holt dancing to his left. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Nowhere to go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. Late in the game, defense trying to avoid a big play. He's able to work out of the passing game, turn it into a run, pick up the first, and stop the clock as well. And you know in this situation, everything is sped up. The intensity, the thinking, everyone's movement. But for a quarterback, he has to continue to be what we call a flatliner. Level in everything he does and read the clock, feel it in the pocket, and go at the appropriate time. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. They'll come up now. This is second and long. Looking to throw. Hold. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. Charles, that drive was perfect. Methodical, executed so well, and they grabbed that lead with almost no time left for a last gas from the other side. No way you could have drawn up a better final drive because not only did they keep their eyes on the end zone, they made sure they bled the clock out as well and denied their opponent a chance to respond. That's just terrific situational football to end this one. So the Patriot offense stays out there, and they'll line up and go for two. They'll let Elliott try and run it in. And he will not get there. He comes up short. And they're unable to push this lead to a field goal as it'll remain a one-point game. So a very interesting final chapter to this proverbial book here in this one because they were in field goal range, could have won it with a field goal, elect to go for the touchdown. I still don't know what they were doing. As great as this game was and as dramatic an ending as we had, the post-game press conference is going to be key because they're going to be asking coach, why not a field goal attempt there? You got an opportunity to win it right there with your, with your guy, and instead you run another play. Yeah, we might need to stop by that press conference on our way out the back door here. Yeah, just slow down the plane for us, all right? We got to, we got to get an answer before we go. So for New England, the win moves them up to 5-2 and two now on the year. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the Cleveland Browns.
Meanwhile, for the Bills, they dip to two and five now with the loss, and they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching.